So guys, are you struggling to understand the difference between stroke and give? Or maybe you don't even know what stroke and give is on a tattoo machine. Well, in this video, I'm going to explain everything to you, so stick around. What is popping guys and welcome back to another tattoo tips video and just like the intro said for this video I'm going to explain to you the differences between stroke of a machine and the give of a machine and what each of them do. So without further ado as always let's get right into it. So understanding the stroke of the machine and what does that mean okay so we, in tattooing we have something called stroke lengths it's often indicated by a number ranging from 1.8 thereabouts to round about five and it's all dependent on the machine that you are looking at also some machines have an adjustable stroke what that means is you can take the machine from a 1.8 or a 2.5 and you can get different stroke cams. It depends on the company, it depends on the machine. And it may go from 2.5 to 4 or 1.8 to 3.5. It all depends, but some have an adjustable stroke and some do not. So what does stroke actually mean? So if you've just bought a machine with a 2.5 stroke, that basically means that your needle comes out of the tip 1.25 millimeter and goes back in 1.25 millimeter so in turn that makes the needle in and out of the machine a lot faster because it's got a lot less travel to go which then that equates to collecting less pigment on the needle which is why a short stroke is so good for black and gray however when you have a short stroke you will find it harder to tattoo with a longer throw if you don't know what a throw is, a throw is the amount of needle that comes out of the tube or tip, whichever you want to say. And because of the shortness of that cam and you have such a long throw, when the needle's coming back, it's not coming into the tip, so it's not collecting pigment. So then when it comes to tattooing, there's absolutely no pigment on the needle at all. And you'll often find that you'll start tattooing on the skin and there's just nothing there and you, you've you're asking yourself, I've just dipped, so why is there nothing there? That is generally the reason. It's because you are using a shorter stroke and you have a lot more of a needle throw. A 2.5, for example, or any lower cam also relies on gravity to do some of the work for you to get a really great ink flow. Let's say that you are tattooing a back and you are in a horizontal position, not a vertical position. Then what you'll often find is, again, you've just dipped. Nothing seems to be happening when it comes to tattooing. Again, it's because you are horizontal and not vertical and a shorter stroke relies on that gravity to help with that ink flow. Also guys, generally a shorter stroke is a softer hitting machine and a longer stroke is a harder hitting machine. So if you have a small stroke, a 1.8, that's a soft machine, a 3.5 would be like a medium hitting machine and then a 4, 5 is definitely a harder hitting machine. Best way to remember it is short strokes, black and gray, mid strokes, color and long strokes for lining. So what is give? Give helps with the machine regardless on the machine's motor and how hard the machine hits. When you have a machine with give, basically what happens, the machine comes forward, hits the skin and then backs off a little. The more give you have, the more it backs off, which gives a longer give travel, which is providing less trauma to the skin, becoming more forgiving. However, using give does have a real tendency to slow a artist down. Obviously, because you have that back off and that give travel, you know, you're basically not putting the ink in skin quicker. So it takes a lot more passes to get it in, therefore slowing you down. Having give is actually a great thing for a new artist or apprentice rather than using a direct drive machine. Now a direct drive machine is just a machine with absolutely no give at all. The needle comes out, boom, penetrates the skin and comes back. So a machine with give basically does the work for you rather than you as a new artist or apprentice having to control the machine with your hand speed and pressure. 
Just remember though, a lot of machines do advertise give, but not all machines come with an adjustable give. Okay, some have give built in and there's no way of adjusting it. So give and stroke go hand in hand. You may have a longer stroke, which is bringing with it a harder hit, but applying give will lessen the impact for you on skin. However, guys, when you get good, a good artist, regardless of stroke and give, will be able to use any machine and control everything with his or her hand. And if you get to that point in your career, guys, you will be able to pick up any machine and be able to use it. So guys, I really hope that's helped you out in, in your understanding of give and stroke. It is such a simple thing, but you would be surprised about how many people actually don't know it. And when it comes to buying a machine, you have to look for these things. So before I leave guys, head over to my tattoo tips playlist and my Chris Ravage uploads. Check out the array of tattoo tips for you. I do new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you subscribe, like the videos, share the videos out, and don't forget also to turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget guys, this is the best channel to get your tattoo tips from. But as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.